Yo, what's up guys, Territory here. Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a work in progress game called Bloodlines. Alright, and before we get into today's video, I want to shout out my friend Cap Casino. He actually inspired me to make a video on this game, kind of like a continuation in where it is now, because uh, he uploaded a video on this game about three months ago. And since this game has been on the low for, for a minute since then, I want to bring this game back into the light and to show, to share this game with you guys. So subscribe to my boy Cap Casino, and let's get into the video. Alright, we're going to get straight into the Q&A part, so Arkham can actually explain to you guys a little bit on what the game is about. So I'll let him explain the first part, which is what is Bloodlines to you guys, and then I'll shorten up the rest of them for you. Bloodlines is a high-stakes action-adventure, Naruto-inspired game, where the decisions that you make affect the kind of experience that you'll have. And there's a lot of exploration and, you know, things like that to be done. But the primary thing we're focusing on is to make sure that you have a fun and genuine experience. Alright, so off the bat, he talks about how this game is inspired by Naruto and how your own decisions will have their own certain kind of consequences. So it's based off of what you do and this game doesn't lead you down any certain directive path. Next we go on to, is this game close community? This game is not close community, it's going to be paid access. He doesn't disclose how much Robux is going to be, but it's not going to be that much. Alright, next off we have copyright. No, they are not worried about copyright. They do ins they are inspired by Naruto though obviously, but this whole game is basically their own idea with uh, some inspiration behind it. All right, and then a funny question that they added in the end, uh, a little rumor going around is, was this game actually going to release in 2025? No, this game is not going to release in 2025. They're planning on releasing it, or they're going to try to release it by the end of 2021. And what really has my attention about this is the small things about this upcoming section in the video. So I'm gonna have you guys check it out for yourself real quick and then I'll get to you guys right after the clip. I can always bet on anything right now that you guys have never seen anything like that, especially in a Naruto inspired game. I mean just open world interactions and all the small details in just this one clip has just so much that other games don't have throughout the whole entire game. First of all how he was actually harming and hitting the NPC rather than actually talking and aiding the NPC which was seeming to have some troubles which led to a consequence of him getting his butt literally whooped by the barbarian as it's called. And not only that, but the air combo that led down into him attacking the barbarian, which was just so clean and how the style is for the combat. And in this part of the clip where he roars, I think it's supposed to just combat tag you, but I'm not completely sure since he was blocking, his character was blocking as well when he was like roaring or whatever that was my favorite part is how unique and how creative they were with with their combat system and finishing system as you see this barbarian is really strong as he takes out this player basically in a few hits within seconds boom he's dead right there and this is my favorite part the barbarian jumps into the air and just smashes his head into pieces. I have never seen any game do that before. And when we go on to Arkham's Twitter, he has a bunch of other sneaks and leaks. He hasn't done he hasn't done a, a leak in about two months though. As you can see in this first clip here. All right, so if you go into the video more, uh, off rip, this just reminds me and probably a lot of you guys of Shinobi Life 2, aka Shindo, on how when you attack the 
the log it gives you XP help you level up and get your strength up so that's what this probably is for since not only they're punching a log but it also says he, he him and his boys are grinding the next thing we have is pretty interesting which is him scoping out his enemies with a Byakugan he just stole so obviously he scooped this from an enemy because if you look at his shirt it's the Uchiha clan and so he probably has Sharingan and Byakugan or some sorts like that and then we have some cool cosmetic leaks uh, which is Obito's goggles right here so that's pretty neat also from this video the first look teaser of bloodlines another thing I find really interesting is how they have the chakra concentration I'm not sure if that's what it's specifically called but that's what I'm going to call it into the feet where if you have it activated you can walk on water as you see in this clip here when you deactivate it you're actually going to fall into the water so this is also the first Naruto game I've actually seen them use um, mechanics like this with chakra concentration so you can concentrate chakra on certain parts of your body. SL2 has kind of done this where you can wall run and tree run, but not as detailed as this seems and as controllable as this seems. And they preview some combat here, which looks pretty fast paced and interesting. This character went against like four people, so I don't think the outcome is going to be pretty nice. And I forgot to point out they have Sharingan as well, stage one. And then the context is, this is, is this the end? Then when, then when your character dies, it seems as if this is the Sage of Six Paths, if I'm not mistaken. And then in the context above it says, a second chance. So another thing this also reminds me of is the vast realm when, where when you wipe your character, you are able to spawn in with a new character as the same race. But as you can see here, it says a second chance. So I'm pretty sure if you're able to escape some challenge or complete some task, then you're able to escape death and go on to live and see another day. Alright, so Arkham hasn't really given us a whole whole lot as in sneaks for the game. So there really isn't much that we can say or know about the game as of now. But let's just hope that more things come out in the future. And if you want to keep up to date with the Bloodlines game, uh, I'll link Arkham's Twitter and the Bloodlines Discord in the description below. But yeah, this video was to help explain and show some new people that have not seen this game before but yeah hopefully this video got some people excited for a new naruto game that could possibly come out within the near future and i'm definitely looking forward to this game as an open world hardcore self-decision type game i've never seen really anything like this so i just hope this game doesn't have any conflict or any problems within the future as well but if you guys did enjoy the video please make sure to leave a like subscribe join my discord to be notified whenever i make more videos and do streams like this if you want more of these types of videos please please let me know because these are actually very interesting and i love doing these types of videos feel free to leave some suggestions in the description below again thank you guys for watching the video i'll see you guys in the next one